this is a rich one this is my youtube channel and it's for math and science only i want to make math and science very easy here so if you want to learn science and math please this is a very good channel for you all that you need to do is just uh, subscribe to my channel by hitting on the red subscription button there and then you'll be part of the group and you can also click on the notification button up there and then you'll be notified anytime that i post a new video okay thank you how this is a rich month once again and <laughs> hope you're all doing good and today tutorial i just want to take us through the equations of motion I want to prove all the equations of motion the need uh, equations of motion and I love you and I also love me here so let's just start with the first equation of motion is this V is equal to U plus 80 how do you prove this okay so I want to learn how to prove this this is the first equation of motion for us to prove this, we should know that acceleration is change of velocity over time. So acceleration A is equal to change of velocity over time. The change in velocity talk about the V stands for final velocity and U stands for initial velocity. So that is actually acceleration. So mathematically, what can we do here? What we can do is that we can multiply through by the Denominator here that's t, so we multiply two by t, and this will multiply t, and then this one multiply t, and then this t cancel this t. So now to be left with a t is equal to v minus u. Okay, so what can we do here further? Because we are proving v is equal to u plus a t, we can send negative u to where a t is to get this v is now equal to u plus 80 so this is the first equation of motion okay so let's move on to the second equation of motion and the second equation of motion is this S is equal to ut plus half a t squared, like this. So how can we prove this equation? Okay, so to prove it, we have a simple way that we can do, and this is how we are coming to. We should know the average velocity. We should know this one, that a v stands for average velocity is equal to v plus u over 2. Average velocity talk about when we sum all the velocities together and divide by two. So this is what we know: average velocity. And then we should also know that velocity is equals to displacement over time. So with S stand for displacement. With this, uh, mathematically, I can say that by multiply two by t, I'll get this. Multiply 2 by t, I get v times t, so vt is equal to s because the t cancel t here, so half s is equal to vt. But we should keep it in mind that we are talking about average velocity here. So our v here is not just v, but it's average velocity, so we can say that s is equal to avt. And then for things to be very easy for us, we can say that this one should be our equation one okay so we know the average velocity to be what v plus u over t so we substitute it here we now have our s to be equal to v plus u over two multiplying what t this is where we are now okay so let's call this equation as equation two okay so what can we do next okay what can we do next here all that we can do is to substitute v 
from the first question, we know v is equal to u plus 80. We substitute v, which is equal to u plus 80, into this equation. So wherever we see v here, we replace it with u plus 80. So we have our s is equal to v is now u plus 80. u plus 80 over 2 multiplying by t here. Very easy. So what can we do here? All we can do is that we can multiply the t because we can expand the bracket. By expanding it, let's multiply t by u. We get ut plus t times at give us a t squared. It's all over 2. Okay, there is... Okay, so there's a problem here. So, s is equal to v plus u here, all over 2 times t. So, we are substituting v with u plus 80. So, u plus 80, it left it u here. I didn't bring it, so plus u here, okay? So, now, what we're going to get is this. Let's eliminate this one and continue with it. So, now, we, are, we have u here, have u here. We put them together, get to u. So you're going to get something s go to 2u plus 80 like this. Okay. Multiplying. So all over 2 here, multiplying t. Okay. So we now have it like this way so we can continue. So t, let's expand the bracket. Expanding the bracket, t will multiply this. So I get 2ut. So you can see 2ut here plus 80 square all over 2 here. So the 2 is dividing all of them. So 2 dividing uh, 2ut and then 2 dividing 80 square. So our s is not equal to this. So this 2 can cancel this 2 and uh, final half 2 cancel this or I can break it down to 2ut over 2 plus 1 over 280 square like this and then this one cancel this one get ut there so we now have our s our s to be equal to ut plus half 80 square so this is our second equation of motion so let's move on to the third equation. How can we find the third equation of motion? Okay, our third equation to find it is very easy here. So already I told you that we should represent we should represent this one as our equation two. Okay, so this is our equation two now. So let's write the equation two here. So our equation 2, which is now s is equal to v plus u all over 2 multiplying t like this. And then we also have our equation 1 as this. So all that I want us to do is that let's make t the subject from the equation 1. Making t the subject from equation 1 what are you going to get? So let's do it here. If V is equal to U plus AT, being our equation 1, it won't make T the subject. All that I want to do is that we have to send the U to where the V is and it becomes something like V minus U over A is equal to T. So this is what we've obtained. We've made t the subject from equation 1. So we now multiply t by this. So our t is now equal to v minus u over a. So what we, can, we do is that we substitute it here. So whenever we see t, we substitute it by v minus u over a. Okay. So what are we going to do here? We're going to get s is equal to v plus u over 2 multiplying by t and our t is now v 
minus u over a. So v minus u over a like this. Very perfect. So what are we coming to do here? Let's try a multiply. Multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So v, we multiply v here, we get v square. V, we multiply the u here, we get minus v u. And then we are done with the first one. So come and take u. u multiply v and we get plus v u. And then u multiply u, we get minus u square. All over 2 multiply a have to a so in all we now have our s to be equal to something look at negative vu and then positive vu they can cancel out okay to make our expression very simple here so s is now equal to v square minus u square over 2a like this so let's multiply by the SCM or the denominator of this fraction 2a. So multiply here by 2a and multiply here by 2a. Okay, so the 2a will cancel 2a and here we'll have 2as. So we now have 2as is now equal to v square minus u square. Okay, so we want to make v the subject in this equation. We want to make v the subject. So all that we need to do is that. We can say that 2as plus u square is equal to v square. So therefore, my v square is equal to u square plus 2as. And this is our third equation of motion. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This is Richmond, and if you like this tutorial, please, all that I want you to do is just share, comment, and then subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this in science and mathematics. Every three days in the week, I'll be giving you new tutorials. God bless you. Thank you for watching.